Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you get your news not two weeks late. And this is the week of November 22nd, 2021. And this week we get four topics. And the first one, well, is interesting. It's about remote ID. There's been an update from the FAA and uh, we won't tell you more about it. Uh, we'll talk about two different drones. The first one is called a Dronut, which is a donut shape type of drone, it's really interesting. And then another really interesting uh, drone, which is a single actuator monocopter. So we'll talk about what that means. And lastly, we'll give you a quick Pilot Institute update. So let's get to it. All right, before we get to the first story, as you can tell, we are in our new studio. Uh, we're still not 100% operating, but we have a new background, which is going to be uh, improved over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but we're excited. We finally moved. It took us a little bit over three weeks. Uh, if uh, some of you noticed, we've been a little bit more quieter on the number of videos that we've posted. That's the reason. But now we're, uh, we're excited because uh, well, we get a, a brand new place. We'll give you a tour eventually. But uh, let's talk about the first story this week, which is Remote ID. Now, interestingly, um, we have talked about remote ID in a while and I know this is a hot topic people like well I don't know if they like to hear about remote ID but they want to hear about what's going on when is remote ID going to go in place what are the new technology and um, behind the scene there's been quite a bit of stuff happening and one of them is there's been a little bit of a battle between um, ASTM which is the the standard organization and others in the industry and the FA regarding one specific point which is the accuracy of the GPS that is going to be uh, broadcasting or sending the information about the drone location. And this is specifically for standard remote ID. We're not talking here about the module that's going to be added to your drone. We're simply talking about the standard remote ID, which is going to be the drone that you buy that comes with remote ID. Okay. What's happened is in the last couple of days, the FAA has released a, uh, a memo document. I'm actually not even sure the title of this document, but they're saying that the requirement for um, accuracy, for vertical accuracy for standard remote ID is going to remain at 15 feet. And this has been a point of contention because manufacturers, ASTM says that it's one, unnecessary, and two, is going to be overly expensive to implement in aircraft. And if you remember, we've talked about remote ID in the past and the fact that uh, possibly remote ID is going to be implemented retroactively in older aircraft by simply having a software update, which is what some manufacturers, including DJI, have been hinting at that they're trying to do, which means that you wouldn't have to get a module. You could simply just retroactively have your drone change with a firmware update. This looks like it may not be possible now because of this 15 foot accuracy. It means that it would require additional equipment on board of the aircraft to create this type of accuracy, uh, specifically GNSS, which is the, the type of GPS technology that is more accurate. Um, this is not really great news, quite frankly. Uh, remember, as of September 2022, which is quickly approaching, we we're almost at the, at the end of 2021 now, which is quickly approaching, the manufacturers are going to have to have their uh, drones comply with remote ID, which means they need to submit their paperwork eventually to the FAA to get all that stuff done. So uh, this is a bit of a this is a bit of a kickback, quite frankly. This is something that's going to put us a little bit behind, I think, us being the industry in general, because I don't think we're going to have that technology ready as we were expecting it to be. So uh, I'm sure there will be more as this progresses, but this is kind of a fairly new thing. Uh, I'm going to put a link down in here so you can see the document by yourself. It's about a five page document uh, that was published by the FA. It was published in the, uh, the Federal Register, which is the location where the NPRM was located, which is the, the location where the final ruling was also located. So if you want to read it, if you like reading uh, government speak, I'm going to say it's, it's not the most captivating document, but it's basically just saying 15 feet is what it's going to be. You guys got to deal with it. All right, the next story this week is the Dronut. And uh, the Dronut is a new type of drone which has a 4K camera, that's not new, it has LiDAR, but it has no external propellers and it's circular, just like a donut. And uh, the way that it works, it actually has two different propellers on the inside that are helping it move around. And you can see from the video that's playing in the background that it's kind of very agile and it looks like it's uh, it's flying pretty uh, fast. It, it, it can bump into things. So it looks like it's a little bit safer 
safer than the drones that we were accustomed to in general. Uh, hence the name Dronet, by the way, it's shaped like a donut, it's a Dronet. Um, the drone in itself weighs 425 grams, so uh, somewhere in between a Mavic Mini and, uh, and uh, a Mavic 2 Pro or Hotel Evo 2. And uh, the price is a little bit expensive, it's at $9,800. I don't know if it's, ex it, if it's available for sale at the moment, but uh, that's, I think, the price that they were hoping to get out of this. So uh, let me know in the comment what you think about this uh, kind of design. This is really interesting. All right, next story, a single actuator monocopter. We just talked about the drone that flies with two propellers. This one actually flies with only one propeller. And no, it's not an airplane. It's actually, uh, well, you can see from the picture here, it's kind of confusing, quite frankly. It's a, a wing with a propeller at one end and then the battery at the other end. And it feels like it's flying, uh, well, it's got really interesting flying characteristics, I think. It would be cool to actually see a video of this in flight, but uh, let me know what you think of this kind of design. Uh, this looks like it's somebody's uh, thesis, maybe, and probably not a design that's ever going to be used in real life, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's interesting to see the innovation out there. And the last thing this week is we have our Black Friday sale going on today, very strong for the rest of the weekend as well. Our entire catalog is available at a very steep discount. This is the only time of year that we discount the catalog the way that we do. Uh, this includes our Part 107 Made Easy for $119, which is typically $149. And also we have our uh, Drone Business Combo, which is typically $200. This time is $149. So you can actually get one additional course that you usually don't get uh, by just spending the same amount that you typically do. So uh, this is a great deal. As always, uh, you can find everything on pilotinstitute.com and all of our courses come with lifetime access. So you can stock up and then just use the courses whenever you want. So uh, with that said, uh, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you had some good time with the family if you traveled. I hope you all stay safe and then I will see you guys next week. Thank you.